SAM stands for severe acute malnutrition. Now, severe acute malnutrition has four criteria. If any of these four criteria, any of the four criteria is present, then you can say that person is having SAM. The first is if the weight for height, we have already discussed, if the weight for height is less than what? It is less than minus three standard deviation. It is less than minus three standard deviation. And the other criteria is if there is bilateral pedal edema. So obviously, if there is bilateral pedal edema, it means that there is so much protein loss causing edema, hence severe acute malnutrition. The third criteria is if the middle upper arm circumference, MUAC, if the mid upper arm circumference is less than 11.5 centimeter. And the fourth criteria is if there is visible severe wasting. If there is visible severe wasting. So if any of these four criteria, weight for uh, height less than minus three standard deviation, bilateral pedal edema, MUAC less than 11.5 centimeter or visible severe wasting is concerned, any of this is there, then you will call the child as having severe acute malnutrition. A small star I want you to remember that this MUAC is only for children between six months to five years of age. Between six months to five years of age, we do not use this criteria for uh, children who are less than six months of age. So put this as a small star as far as your notes is concerned. Now, I want you to understand the difference between complicated SAM and uncomplicated SAM. In complicated SAM, the child is going to be so, you know, it's going to be so severe that the appetite of the child is also going to be lost. So the appetite in complicated SAM is poor or lost. Well, the appetite is normal or good as far as uncomplicated SAM is concerned. Okay. In complicated SAM, obviously, it's going to resemble Kwashirka, the worse form of the disease. Edema can be present while it is absent in uncomplicated SAM. Medical complications, infections, your, you know, hypoglycemia, hypothermia, all these medical complications are absent as far as uncomplicated SAM are con concerned and they're present in complicated SAM. And as far as the management is concerned, complicated SAM should always be managed in a hospital you should admit to that child it's an indication for admission of the child well uncomplicated sam can actually be managed at home it can be managed at home